Florida and Florida State. What, what would you think to yourself if I said, you know who's playing top 10 ball right now? Then I pause for effect. Florida State. Like Florida State's playing top 10 ball right now. Uh, they are. It's not a lie. They're not in the top 10 because we can't pretend like the early portion of the season didn't happen. But, man, Mike Norvell is right there in ACC Coach of the Year contention. And if he's not, you're, it's just foolish. You're not watching. Okay, so he's there. Florida State, as a result, is favored by nine and a half, which is not a point spread anyone saw coming about a month ago. Florida Vandy shocked almost everyone. Not us, because we called it. But everyone else got shocked by it. I checked the calendar. I knew it was Dorvember. Anyway, I say all that to say, how much of what happened with Florida last week am I supposed to expect to carry over here? It was an upset. Uh, they played poorly. They outgained Vandy significantly, but because of various things that happened in a football game, they dropped the game. Okay, so does that carry over here? The Florida players swear no this week. FSU has lost three straight when they're ranked and Florida's not ranked, which makes no sense, but that's an actual stat that Stats and Info brought me today. What decides this game? Wasn't that the million-dollar question? Isn't that what we're here to talk about? Certainly, yards per carry is always a hint in a football game, but doubly especially when you listen to these kind of numbers, like Florida, second in FBS in yards per carry right now. Well, it would stand to reason that could be a padlock stat, right? Bookmark that. Hold that thought. Also, Trey Benson, Trey Sean Ward, they are one and two in the ACC right now in yards per carry themselves. Both teams running the ball pretty well when they decide to. I don't think those are the padlock stats. I think those are faux padlock stats, and you know how rarely I use that word. I'm going to give you the real padlock stat here, and it's going to be defensively third down Florida right now. 48.3% conversion rate. They, they are giving up a 48.3% conversion rate. You know where that ranks them nationally? 126th in FBS out of 131. So then you wonder to yourself, ooh, that doesn't sound good. Is Florida State decent on third down? Yeah, uh, they're sixth in FBS offensively in third down conversion rate. That's where the game's won. And that's why as we go into what the model thinks on here, the model leans so much heavier towards Florida State than, than Vegas even does. Vegas has Florida State minus 9.5. The model is over two touchdowns with Florida State. We got FSU minus 14.5. Here's one question that I have. One question is, does FSU have that might not matter energy? And by that, I mean Anthony Richardson is the most dynamic player in this game. If Anthony Richardson goes off, you think to yourself, if you're a Florida fan, well, if he goes off, we win the game, right? They're playing a pretty good team this Saturday. And they're playing the kind of team, potentially, where Richardson can go off and they still lose. And I don't think Florida fans are used to thinking that. That's called might not matter energy. I think Florida State's got that right now. And so I'm going to take them to win. I'm going to take them to cover. And how about this? A little Ramen Noodle Express action. Florida State minus 9.5 is a Ramen Noodle Express best bet. Tack it on. I'm not going to give you many picks tonight because we're going to do Friday Night Lines from Columbus, but I'm tacking it on. FSU wins, FSU covers. think it's going to be a double-digit win for the Knowles. And I'm sure the comment section will let me know if, if something otherwise happens. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.